supply grade A1000 crew should be fine. Alright, I apologize for the roughness of my voice. I was up till 3 in the morning. Or 4, actually. Alright, form to my left and right right here, and then someone fill in where I am because I'm going to step out of line. There you go. Alright, I want to make this as fast as possible. I did this with Asia last night, and it took damn near an hour, and I don't want to be here for an hour. Stop fighting over spots. What the fuck is going on here? Alright. So today we're going to be going over combat. I assume Devrith ran you guys through how to form a line and how much spacing there should be between a line. Am I correct? Give me a crouch. Yeah. Alright. So there should be around one man spacing. Combat spacing. Right? So I should be able to fit in between you guys as long as you guys have the man bonus. Or the line bonus, not the man. So go ahead, space out, achieve that. If someone doesn't want to move, feel free to move towards the end of the line. Alright? And whenever we're all spaced out, fill this kind of gap right here. This is a little too big. Alright, you guys work together. Work together. This should be automatic whenever we form a line. Now, I want everyone to crouch if they have the line bonus. Alright, I should see all of you guys crouching. You guys should all have the line bonus. You don't have the line bonus? Alright, you move a little bit closer to him. Just a tiny bit. Do you have the line bonus now? Alright, there you go. Alright, everyone stand. So this is around the space. Stop. If you two don't stop fucking around, I'm actually just going to kick you guys. You move a little bit more. Like right here. Okay, no, not you. Not you. Stand up. There you go. Perfect. And you two still have the line bonus? There. Right. So this is going to be the basics of what we're going over today. Today we're just going through combat drills. I was thinking about doing a team deathmatch, but I'm not trying to be here for an hour, so we might just practice drills. Alright, most of you guys have already been in combat with the guards, so I don't see a need to do a team deathmatch, but we'll see whenever we get there. Alright, but first, I give myself targets. we got to focus on the basics. Oh, what? Mm. There we go. First, got to focus on the basics which is target shooting, all right? These are going to be like right in front of you, all right? But the, the point that we're doing this is we're going to be focusing on volleys and just getting our volleys down, right? Oh. I'm going to kind of stack it a little bit so I don't have to place them a couple times. Okay. So, these targets are right in front of you. It's less about aiming, more about just getting the volley down. So everyone take your rifle out or your musket out, okay? Whenever we're in line, what I want you guys to know now is whenever we form up and we get all our spacing down, you guys should be automatically presenting. So everyone present. Alright, aim directly in front of you and fire. Alright, so you guys are going to be facing to the side. I would say to your right. Left or right, it really does depend on your commander, but for now I just say turn to your right and get your reload. And whenever you're done, you should be automatically presenting. Automatically present. And aim directly in front of you, and fire. Alright, this is the basics of our combat. Alright, you should be facing right, and you should be automatically presenting when you're getting in line, and whenever you're re done reloading. Alright, this tells me who has their shot done, and on the line. Alright, fire. What the fuck? See? Now, this is right in front of you, these are pretty easy targets, this is just more about getting the motions down for the volley. So I'm just gonna do this like twice. Two more times. What the fuck? Damn, my stepdad just died. Fire! Remember, you guys should be facing to your right. It makes it just a little harder to hit. It slims your profile just a tiny bit. And that's what matters at the end of the day. With RNG guns like this, everyone should be presenting and fire. Beautiful. Great volley. Alright, whenever you're done, hold your shots and shoulder arms. You don't have to present now. I said don't present. I said don't present. Just shoulder arms and face forward. Alright, so we got that down. I'm going to move ranges a little further down. Alright? And we're just going to do the same thing. Now you're going to notice these are going to be a bit further down. You have to aim a bit higher. Alright? And you'll notice whenever you get a kill, it'll give you the stud count, right? 
I don't know about you guys, but I do not know how long 305 studs is right off the top of my head. Alright? I, I don't think anybody does. Alright, so instead, you'll notice that you have your cursor. Right? Whenever you aim in, you have a... Well, I have to get in line so I can do this faster. Alright, you'll notice whenever you're in line and you aim in, right, you have different parts of your cursor. You have an outside circle and inside, like, triangular pincers, alright? The ones that really matter whenever we're talking about where to aim are your bottom pin or your bottom half of your circle, right? You'll notice the bottom circle forms kind of a line in between the two arcs, alright? That's your bottom line. And then you'll notice your triangles on the bottom side form kind of another line, those are your bottom pincers, alright? So if someone says bottom p or bottom line on their head, you're going to be putting the bottom line of the two bottom arcs onto their head. If someone says middle pincers or bottom pincers, it's going to be the middle pincers on the bottom side of your reticle. Does everyone understand that? Just crouch if you understand that. Let me know if you need a little more help understanding that. If you guys want, I will... Uh, post a picture later kind of explaining it all right everyone stand up now i'm going to ask a second question whenever everyone's standing up who here has a microphone that isn't complete shit just crouch if you have a microphone one so that's going to be most of you all right this is going to be the only time during this training that you're probably going to be unmuting unless we do a team death match all right so i want you guys to practice giving call outs for where your shots are. Now these aren't too far, this isn't going to be too intense, but it's just getting that motion down, alright? I want you guys to tell people where your cursor is, either by the pincers or the bottom line, relative to their body. So like, shoulders, chest, head, etc, right? Shoulders, chest, head, feet, right? You get the point. If you want to, you can give the stud call out afterwards. So like, for example, Middle pincers on head, like 255, something like that, right? During battles, we want to keep comms clear as much as possible. But at the same time, we also want to increase our accuracy because we'll be doing more damage to the enemy if our volleys are hitting more shots. So, you're encouraged to give callouts, right? As long as they're not super loud and obnoxious. So we're going to do a couple volleys and practice that. These are still, like, right in front of you, but... It just helps to get that motion down. So everyone stand up and present. And fire. Alright, so one or two of you just give a pincer placement and range. Anybody? You guys can unmute. Or does this channel automatically mute me? No. So does anybody have a range at all? No? It's some uh, 152 studs. Alright, so w one person at a time. One person at a time. So it's 152 studs, and you just okay. aim right at their chest with the middle pincer. Yeah, so for future reference, I want you to say middle pincers on chest, 152 studs. Alright, everyone heard that? Present and fire. Look how many more shots we hit just with that, right? <laughs> no. 161 one, one. middle pincers on chest. Alright, awesome. Things like that. That's what we want to hear in the comms. Alright, one last time. Fire. Awesome, see? We're hitting more shots just because we have that information. Now this gets more important with further ranges because I'm going to be honest, this is really close. So, everyone hold your shot the front and uh, face towards the flag. So, this direction, right? Where are you in here? You're teleporting. Teleport Cooper. <laughs> right. So I'm gonna put targets a little further out here, and then we're gonna test some ranges out oh. here. I don't want to do this for too long because this is Wait. very mundane. Oh. Ooh, voice crack. My bad, guys. Smells fucking atrocious. Alright, so I'm gonna stay right around here. To go on, this should be on now. This is not Generally, working. you guys should be aiming right in front of you. I'm just putting a wide fucking variety of targets in case you guys are like actual killers. Alright, everyone present. Huh. 
and fire. So for the first volley, does anybody have a call out? No. Yeah, middle pincers on chest, 185. Got it. Oh, that's around the same range as last time. Whatever. Blasty, could you TP me? Yeah, where are you? Or are you? Oh, I got you. TP. Oops, I forgot to say. Pew! Pew! Alright, everyone, fire. Putain! I'm a shit! Seriously. Awesome. Yeah, it's the same range. It's the same, you don't have to give a call out a second time. Alright. I want you guys to move back a little bit behind this hill. See where I am? I'm gonna start to spread out a little bit just because um, we're gonna form a line immediately. Say like right here, you should have the elevation to hit those shots. Mm. So form to my left and right, right here. Okay, space this. Space out, space out. Remember to space out, and then you fill. Oh. I'm close. Spacing. Gonna kill you, you fucking monkey. And everyone present. Let's see if we can hit these shots because this is a bit further out. Putain, mais j'ai pas. And fire. Mais connard! Right, so mais putain! Middle pins are slightly above head to create shield. Awesome. See? And so we're gonna try this volley again. Middle pincer slightly okay, above down your head. Right around 388 studs. Everyone present. And fire. Alright, so I'd say we hit a couple more shots. Obviously these are muskets and they're super fucking inaccurate, but you get the point. Alright? So I'm gonna put your targets here. Because you guys get the point. Alright, so. Move with me. We're gonna go back to this little ridge right here, and we're gonna talk about the difference between a pool and a hard pool. Alright, so form... Oh shit, we passed it. Alright, just form right there. Form right there. See, we're trying to just form right here. Alright, and then fill my gap. And then space out, like we normally do. Alright, so in combat, we have two different types of pooling. Now this is something relatively new that we're bringing back from the days of the Volta Gears. Alright. We have a pool and a hard pool. I, maybe a couple of you know the difference between the two, but I'll go over it anyway. So, I'm gonna place down a bunch of targets right here, right? This is a blob of enemies approaching us, okay? So everyone, I want you to just fire into this blob right here. And then start to pull back. All right, so here, a pool is just where you keep your reloads. Notice how you guys are still reloading? All right, now back up with me. And then form on the same ridge to my left and right. Alright, let's fill that gap right there where I was. Alright, and then present whenever you get your shot. Mais pourquoi j'ai pas. Cassé okay. couille. For a hard pull, whenever we pull off, we're going to break reloads. So everyone fire, start to move back, and hard pull. So you guys should deselect your gun and just start moving back, alright? Alright, so everyone, you can reload. Just kidding, hard pull. See, every one of you just deselect your muskets whenever I call for a hard pull. Alright, it's the same term as break reloads, it's just, it's just a little more efficient. Same kind of concept. Alright, you guys can reload. Hard pull. Alright, so you guys should be deselecting your musket whenever I call that. Alright, now you can reload on this road right here. So form right here on this road. Alright, so another thing, I bet a bunch of you were at the 180 v180 eh, against Andor, right? Just give me a crouch real quick if you're at that. So a decent number of you, okay? You can stand up now. So you'll notice if you, I think the VOD is posted, but since you guys were there, you know that we spent a lot of time fighting on a road, right? The big road on Hugamon. This is not World War One, but this is the closest thing you're going to get to a trench, right? You'll notice that there's a little dip in the terrain. Oftentimes with roads, there is a dip in the terrain, right? And this is cover, right? Because, as you guys know, muskets are inaccurate as balls, right? And it is harder to hit this tiny target of your head than your body, which is covered by the terrain, right? So, we're going to do a couple of practice drills on going up to fire and back down to reload, all right? So, everyone, move up to where I am right here and present and fire. And back down to reload. Into the dip of the road. Stop ping out of nowhere. Alright, right here. Alright. Get your reload, get your reload. 
Alright, everyone move up. And fire. And back down. Fuck! I'm so good too. <laughs> So everyone up, present, and fire, and back down, should be automatic when you go back down, awesome, awesome, and you'll see if I'm an enemy like right here, it's far less likely for me to hit you because I can only see some of your guys heads or shoulders, which is harder to hit, right, so, we covered road combat, oh yeah, yeah, alright, so move with me, Come find me. I'll break my reload. So Adam has the right idea for what we're going to cover next, and that's going to be bayonet combat. All right, we're going to be moving down this little hill right here towards this blob. Oh yeah, I know bayonet combat. I am a pro in it. I am the legendary player of bayonets. I am the top fighter with it. The essential part of bayonets in the guard is blobbing, which is kind of what you guys are doing right now, right? Except. When we're doing this, you're going to be holding W when we move forward. All right, so everyone, move come forward. Up, use your shots on this blob, and go in. It's going to be blob up on me, right? And we're going to hold W. Boom, right, boom, 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 boom. All right, so everyone break off. Get your reload. Pop, 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 And then while we're here, let's get a chant. So chant on three. One, two, three. Back up and we're all ready to go up there. Alright, you guys know chants. I don't really need to explain chants. So Alright, so move with me. See this smaller blob right here? Use your shots now. And go in. What? Obviously not all of you will be going in. We're going to be having flag guards in actual combat, right? But this is just for practice. Now, I'm going to say, see that guy all the way back there towards the hill? We're going to pretend that that's the enemy flag and he just went down, alright? So I want you to move and act like you're going to pick up this flag. Alright, so what I want you guys to do, we're going to do this again. See this? Let's say this is an enemy flag. Some of you guys should be behind it, alright? If possible, I want you guys to surround a flag. Because let's say I'm someone from the other team and I come to pick up a flag. I'm going to be able to pick it up faster than you, and I'm going to be able to move. And if you're surrounding a flag, then you won't, I won't have any move to, eh, room to move. Alright, so we're going to practice that one more time. We're going to say this target over here is a flag. You're going to move with me. You guys are already in melee. We're following a flag. Flag gets shot. What are we going to do? Awesome. Now, we're going to try one more thing. So hold on, let me first clear target so this doesn't get confusing. So everyone get to your reloads when you need them. I'll like set this up. Alright, so you guys stay there. Maybe one flag. Maybe a second flag over here. Third flag. And a fourth flag. Oh, I know what he wants to. We have like 22. Alright, awesome. Okay? So, keep your shots, but I want everyone to go into melee with me. This flag ahead just went down, but there's still four other flags. Right? So I want like four of you to stay here, and then the rest of you keep moving with me. Right? Now I'd like four of you to stay here. Here. And then obviously whenever you get it, you come with us. Right? And final flag. Alright? We've got all the flags. Cool. Now you see what I mean? Maybe not four, because we do have kind of a smaller company, but you get the concept. I see a lot of times, even in the Young Guard, where regiments entirely will just stop. Everyone will just stop for one flag when there's like three others over there. Right? So like everyone will stop right here when there's another company or like another flag just to be picked up. Alright, so you guys need to learn to prioritize other regiment or other companies attacking us and other flags 
rather than picking up a flag. Because picking up a flag does not really get you any merit points or anything like that, right? Like, she Wait. happened to be the one that held yeah, okay. out of 75. You know, congratulations. But I see everyone stops to pick up a flag and it causes problems and it can break our charges. Alright. So we're going to form up on this road right here. This road doesn't have a dip. Uh, I tried to do this with Orient and then I realized that this road is completely flat. Uh, just form up right here on the road. Yeah, it is completely... Reloads if you don't have them already. Take like one of these or shots. It should be good. Oops, I can't get it. I think I have everything. So give me one second while I check this list. I'm AFK for a second. Yeah. I love his voice. Shots when trying to get an army wipe. I mean... You guys know that you shouldn't be shooting unless I command you to fire at will, right? Or if we're doing volleys, right? Because, you know, we'll run into situations where I'll tell people to, or I won't tell people to use their shots, but people will use their shots anyway. We get a flag, but then there's like two others that if we still had shots, we'd be able to get and get an army wipe, but we don't because no one has shots. And I mean, that happens. So, it's just about using discipline to hold your shots unless I command you to use them. <laughs> I didn't command you. In future reference, you shouldn't be doing that because it could prevent us from getting army wipes. Circle flag, continuing the charge without routing. Eyes on the officer, hard pull versus pull, chance. Yeah. Flag guards, let's do some flag guards, all right? So Sankup is AFK, but I want... Oh, I'm back now. Oh, okay. Drowned, good kid. Victorious and Holidus. You guys put on your plumes. So you guys are four, four, bleh, four flag bearers. God, I'm trying to say that five times fast. All right. So stay here for a minute. Four quads. Flag quads. Dot bearers. So move with me. I'm gonna do another practice charge here. Flag bears, you guys know who you are, or flag guards, you guys know where you, who you are. And use your shots on this blob right here, and go in. So I should see four people kind of moving with the flag as we move down this line. Now I'm a Rambo, I'm coming for the flag. See, our flag didn't pull off from the charge, you guys just kept going. And you guys defended the flag, it's great. Alright, break off from the charge, find me, eyes on me, big plume. Clear targets. Clear targets. Clear targets. <laughs> no. Right. I'm not doing this. And then we're gonna head back to our little ridge that I like to line up on. Alright. So everyone kind of starts spreading out like we're gonna form a line. Because that's what we're about to do. And form right here on this ridge. And then fill my spot. Alright. So. Probably the last thing that I want to go over, we still have our four flag guards, right? And you don't have to present here because we're not in combat. Alright, so we have our four flag guards, and I'm going to put down a bunch of targets just right here. Just a shit ton. Literal, like, Andor's worth of targets right here. Alright? So, we have our four flag guards. Yeah? When the flag goes down, whenever we're fighting, it's going to be your guy's job to step out of line and pick up the flag, unless you're all dead, right? Which is pretty rare. Okay, so we're going to do that. I'm going to have you guys fire at will at this blob whenever I give you the command. All right, and then randomly the flag is going to go down. Okay, and then also, how the fuck did I... How the fuck my melee broke. Anyway, we're also going to practice filling gaps, right? So it's going to be like we're getting volleyed, all right? There's going to be gaps in the line, and it's going to be your guy's job to fill them, and then flag guards, it's going to be your job to pick up the flag, okay? And I'm going to do this using the kill command, all right? So everyone fire at will at this blob right here in front of us. And then Tron Coop, while you're doing this, I want you to get chance down because I have like zero fucking. Chant three, two, one, chant. Chant three, two, one, chant. If you're presented, just triple or double tap Q. 
chant three, two, one, Molly, chant. Guard, what do you do? And then out of the rest of you, continue firing and fill those gaps. Oh, Misty Summer, I love you. Misty Summer! Chant three, two, two one, one. chant. Alright, we just oh. got torn apart by a volley. Fill these gaps, flag guards. Oh. Excellent. Oh. I died! I ate you! I ate! No, I love you, my dear. My dear bird. Keep it up. Why are you moving? No. I'm gonna dodge your kill command. Watch this. Yeah, my ass. Flag down, oh. we just got volleyed. <laughs> you guys are filling those gaps. Remember to keep the space and adjust whenever you're reloading. Fire! Alright, we got last one, I think. La garde meurt, mais ne se rend pas. If you kill me, I swear to you that I'm gonna be mad. So do not kill me. Please, for the love of huge volley. I'm gonna kill you. Drink you blood and, the and the line, right? die. Right, everyone hold your shots. When I say die, that was me. No, I'm gonna come you in you. I'm gonna go back to whatever the fuck this thing is called, the hay saint, the saint hay. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna right, we have kill him in the morale part. Like I will always top frag to kill him. All right, so go ahead, just form a form a two by ten in front of me. So let's see your guys two by ten, just for a little practice. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I didn't call for an eight by two. Nine. And, alright? Check the spacing here. Uh, do you select your muskets, by the way, real fast? Alright, so... Sir underscore Kuzmak. Just move a little bit with me. There you go, perfect. And then you guys should be... Your face... You're, like, tilted a little bit to the side. Align with me. Actually. And then you... Just move up a little bit now. There you go, perfect. Now you guys should be about one stud apart, which is about an arm's length, right? Give or take. So, just fix that up, make it look nice. This isn't your test, it's just nice to get practice, right? So, we pretty much burned through everything that we need. Do you guys still want, like, a 10v10 team deathmatch? Go ahead and stand if you do. That's most of you. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... I don't want. It's nearly uh, 12 p.m. for me, so please. I do not want. Alright, so if I painted you, come back with me and form an STS behind me. Behind me. Alright, and then you. Huss. So crap, and no, no, no. Alright, so that should be 11 v 11, right? Not counting us, and then. What are you doing? Alright. So, what I'm gonna do here is. Everyone on the defenders team, throw on your snow caps so it doesn't get a little confusing. So take your hat off, throw on your snow caps. I'll just use the DM to push. Come inside me. Right. So, um, Trunks, do you think we should, like, be team captains or do you want them to choose their own captain or what do you want to do? 
I don't care. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, do you guys want to have one of your own lead, or do you want one of us to lead? So, Crouch, if you want one of your own to lead. Alright, so, we'll be team captains then. Everyone stand up. So, what I'm going to do is, everyone on Defenders, I want you guys to go to Guard National 2. National 2. I wanted to be leader of this. I wanted to be leader. Like the leader of this. Leader. Leader. The leader. The leader. He wanted to be the leader. But I am not. I am only a pawn. Only a pawn to destiny. Only this. I cannot be someone. I am nothing. And I'm gonna be nothing at all. I wanted to lead, but I cannot lead. This is sad. I could have shown my potential, right, come with me. Don't but no. Shoot them or anything. Don't stab them. Just come with me. Come with you. Alright. It's time to go. I could have killed. No. But I cannot kill him. I wanted to kill him, but I cannot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get a couple practice volleys against each other, and then a charge. Yes, right. yes. That's what we need to do here. So I'm gonna, with me. I'm gonna kill all of them. To my left and right, right here. Natural gaming. Right. What are you doing? And I'm going to tell them to do something. You are my ranker, aren't you? So please stop, stop. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you and suck your blood. I'm gonna, I'm gonna suck your okay, blood. We're starting about ten seconds. So everyone present. Present. All right, fire. Fuck! Right. I missed because you of the fire. Be and I didn't got it. All right. Chance on three. One, two, three. No one got it. Indeed. Alright, everyone present. And fire. Alright, so does anybody have any kills? Any callouts? Didn't go it. That's no, okay. Did I get the batch that doesn't unmute? Chance on three. One, two, three. This only natural gaming who got it. And his mic is not good. Alright, present and fire. Alright, does anybody have any good callouts? Because I saw one of you hit their flash. Shoulder, button, button line, and three. 300 stats. Got it. So, no pincers around their shoulders. Everyone present. <sighs> shoulders. Fire. I got they didn't got it. Kills. Move up with me. Get your reload. Along the shoulder, 240 stats. Well, it's meaningless now since we moved. Alright, everyone spread out. Everyone spread out. Alright, someone pick up our flag. Someone pick up our flag. I forgot to find flag guards. It's my bad. Ah. Form to my left and right, right here. Chance on three. One, two, three. I died. Present. That is. And fire. Alright, any call outs? No, I died. Alright, pull with me. Pull with me. Keep your reloads, pull. Any chance, uh, any chance. Right, just keep pulling, just uh, keep pulling. Stop right there. Form right there. Any chance. Alright, present. Any chance. And fire. Any chance. Chance on three. One, two, three. What? How? Middle pincer on waist, 160 studs. Yep, move with me. Keep your reloads. And spread out, spread out, spread out. Uh, you don't get right. me. Get find me. me, find me. Form to my left and right, right here. Present. We should have. Don't do it, I. And fire. Fuck you. Alright, move up with me. People in the Guard National uniform, I want you guys to stay with the flag. The rest of you go in. Blob up on me. And I'm dead, so just go in there, get in melee. <laughs> we decisively lost that. Alright. Fuck! They haven't got it. That's, that's too powerful for me. There was two of them. Alright. Everyone hold. 
Hold. And we're done. I'm gonna tell them we're done. Kill them. Do not care. Everyone, hold your shots and move back into Guard National 1. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna reteam everyone. Hold on. <sighs> What? I don't have... I don't have the Zion Bonus... Marvel! Take the flag back. Alright, now move with them. Alright, so that was pretty good. You guys uh, on the French team did really good with your charge, you guys I, up. I... I top fragged because, again! Uh, I died right as I told them to blob up on me, so it got a little oh, confusing. Rip. But yeah, you guys did good. I was surprised that we got the champ bonus for 10 people. That was actually Yo, good. yeah, same. I got it for a solid second and a half one time. I know, right? Alright, and form a 2x10 right here. So, nueve, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. One more. Perfect. What the fuck? What did he say? Alright, just make it look pretty, because this is really messy right now. This does not look like a guard formation. And take your snowcap off. Alright. So that's pretty much all that we have to cover today. This man, I killed him. Basic stuff about combat within the killed guards. Them. Uh, we bayonet charge, the difference between a pool and a hard pool. How we do volleys. How we chant. How we find on roads. A lot of it is pretty self-explanatory, especially if you've been here a while. It's just stuff that we need to get down. Especially for newer people, because this is, of course, designed for new conscripts. And you guys are just my lab rats. Alright. If you guys don't have any questions, um, you guys are good to go. Just go ahead, jump and leave. You Goodbye, YouTube. Just hang me in general. This was a pleasure. Goodbye.